Phase two of the 2017 USHL draft is in the books. We're visiting with the head scout of the Green Bay Gamblers, Lenny Hoffman. This is Coach's Corner presented by Aurora Bay Care Sports Medicine. The Gamblers had 18 selections in phase two, five defensemen, 11 forwards, and two goalies. And Lenny, I first want to talk about the entire group, the entire 18 that you selected. These are all guys that you feel like that can bring something uh, into camp in June and really compete for spots here in Green Bay. Yep, absolutely. Um, you know, we have specific needs, and phase two can be a little bit different than phase one when you're talking about uh, just how the draft shapes up. You know, phase one, we're looking at, uh, you know, best players available. And in phase two, um, you know, we really have some needs, and we had to assess that, especially early on in our draft, as you can see, uh, with no left handed defenseman returning on the blue line. That was a big need for us, so we had to assess, we, we had to go after that right away. You talk about that, you kind of alluded to, you, you miss out on guys like Connor Mackey, who left for college, Matt Berkovitz, guys that you have to replace. You guys go out the 12th overall pick in phase two, get a guy like Andy Carroll, and you guys are pretty excited about him. Yeah, you know what, a little bit of a late bloomer, um, a Minnesota high school kid who moved on and played AAA midget hockey uh, in, in his uh, last year of eligibility there. Uh, and went to the North American League, and in a first year of junior hockey, he put up 40 points as a defenseman, and uh, you know he was a big piece for for Aberdeen, turning it around uh, from early in the season and getting to the playoffs and actually winning in the first round. So, you know we're extremely excited about him. He's a great skater and a puck mover. He's very smart, um, and I think he's just going to keep getting better and better. You guys also filled another need defensively with another left-handed defenseman in uh, Ryan Verrier, yep. which you guys picked in the second round, 24th yep. overall. Yep, Ryan, uh, you know, he's playing out in Salisbury Prep School. Uh, he also, before and after, played on the U18 mid-Fairfield team who won the national tournament for the U18 Tier 1 this spring. Um, a team put up of all prep players that play before and after against the best U18 teams in the country. and. Uh, they went through the tournament and won it, and he was an enormous piece. Um, knew a little bit about him from scouts that we have working out east, um, and I watched him several games very closely out at the national tournament in, in Pittsburgh about a month ago, and he didn't disappoint. I mean, he was, I thought, the best player on their team and the biggest reason they won that. Um, so he fits a big need for us, and uh, we're looking forward to having him coming in and playing good minutes. First forward off the board for you guys came in the third round, 40th overall, uh, when you guys picked right winger Bobby Dow. I'm excited about him. Yeah. He brings some scoring. Yeah, you know what? Bobby brings some scoring. Fans are also going to like. He'll bring a little bit of jam to the game. Uh, he's a physical player. Um, you know, he does a lot of his work along the walls, and he gets to traffic areas. He gets around the net. He does things the hard way. Um, but he can also skate, and he can make plays. And, and like you said, he, he can finish. Um, and goal scoring and physical play with pace is, you know, a need that every team needs. Um, you know, and everybody wants that player on their team. So we're excited about him. He's got junior experience, and I think he can come in right away and have a big impact. I know later on in the draft, uh, a lot of local people are going to love this pick. But in the 11th round, 171st overall, you guys go with Carver Watson. I love this pick yeah. in this spot. He has USHL experience playing with the Madison Capitals, playing a playoff game with the Tri-City Storm, yep. and a guy that you guys got a lot of value right there in the draft in Carver yeah. Watson. Oh, 100%, and, and everybody knows the Watson name. Obviously, he's had brothers that were very good defensemen. He's a good defenseman in his own right. Um, he's Like you said, he's got experience, and experience in this league is is crucial, and, and Coach Mickish has a, has a big uh, emphasis on that, and that's very valuable to him and to our organization. Um, you know, it's one thing to do well in other leagues. Um, we think our league, night in and night out, is knowing what you're getting into and what to expect and having that around the locker room, letting other kids know how difficult it can be and, and what you needs to be done is, is very valuable. And uh, kind of a familiar name coming up later in the draft, the 16th round, 251st, building for the future. A lot of people that are Gamblers fans right now will uh, recognize this last name, but John Middlestat was there, yeah. Casey's brother, yeah. and he brings a lot of great skating right now. He's a kid that's got to develop for the future, but a guy yeah. that uh, you guys were excited to take in Phase 2. Yeah, he, you know, similar to Casey's path, he, he played Bantams, you know, instead of playing high school hockey as a freshman, um, you know, he's coming along, and, I, and I've actually, living out of Minnesota, have seen him play for a couple of years, and he's taken tremendous strides. Uh, the biggest thing about him is the work ethic, and, 
you know, they come from a great family, and they've and Casey's obviously sent them all. I think for the couple younger brothers that they sure. have, John being one of them, uh, as well as his youngest brother that played on the Bantam team as well, who's an old three and very good. And in that, that's the work ethic. Um, he's gotten stronger. He's gotten faster. Um, he scored a ton of goals this year. He got hurt late in the year. Uh, which was kind of a tough injury for them going into their state tournament, but uh, a kid who scored a lot of goals and has a bright future. And um, you know, he's his own player. Obviously, there's um, you know you don't want to be quick to, to put pressure on a kid and say you're going to be Casey. You know, everyone's their own player, and he's got his own identity. And there's things he does different than Casey, um, but a good hockey player nonetheless. Definitely a lot of excitement coming into the June camp, though. Absolutely. You know, it's going to be competitive. Um, you know, it, it's always exciting to get everybody there, uh, you know, especially, you know, do this all year long and it kind of comes together and, <laughs> sure. and we finally make guys gamblers and, and you're hoping to do that all year and the, the angst and nervousness of will you get this guy, you know, or not, will he be there? And it's, it's good to get him at camp and we start competing and that's kind of where our veterans set the, uh, the table and the standard of, of what the season is going to be like and we get to, you know, work through the roster. Well, we appreciate your time, Lenny, and uh, great work. Thank you.